So it's now been over 40 years since Mitsubishi Electric launched its first PLC. The Melsec series of PLCs include compact units such as the IQF series, medium module, modular systems like the L series and large modular platforms such as the Q series and IQR series. They have a reputation for being incredibly reliable, robust and of high performance. They're the dominant automation brand throughout the Asian region and incredibly popular in the UK and Europe and increasingly in the US. Ignition's new Mitsubishi driver connects the IQR, the IQF, the Q series, the L series, and of the Ignition 8131 Ethernet enabled FX series. We can configure the driver in the Ignition gateway where you can create, import, or export tags addresses. Once configured, tags are available in OPC browser with read write access. Addressing in the Mitsubishi driver can be done in two ways. The first through the gateway on the addresses page which is similar to the Modbus driver. Here you can import user-created CSV files. Addressing can also be completed in a designer, following the OPC UA server node syntax. The driver supports most device and data types. For Mitsubishi, these usually prefixed with X for inputs, Y for outputs, M for internal relays, and D for data re registers. Addressing can also span over multiple registers to handle larger data types and also supports addressing arrays and bit indexing. The manual has a full breakdown of the accept accessible areas and data types. Um, now I'll pass things over to Glenn to look at some use cases. Yeah, thanks very much, Will. Great to be here. So first things first, it's not like we haven't been able to communicate with Mitsubishi products before, but it's often been pretty tricky and it's often involved some complexity and costs that we don't always want to bring into our facility. So recognizing the popularity of the and the importance of the Mitsubishi platform, I guess, right around the world, together with some pretty strong feedback from the Ignition community, Inductive have put together the native driver that we're looking at here today. So why would we do that? Well, a native driver makes connection of our Mitsubishi systems far simpler. So compatibility is pretty much guaranteed. It's integrated right into Ignition. So it's really easy to live with. You've got the driver updated with every release and you know that every time you update your system, you're going to be, you're not going to have compatibility issues. From a cyber perspective, you have the confidence of knowing that like Ignition, the driver is created and tested within our IC62443 credential framework. And best of all, it's free. So it's included right with Ignition platform. So where are we going to use the new Mitsubishi driver? Well, there's a couple of really good use cases for the ignition, for, for the uh, for the new native driver that I'd like to have a quick look at. So if we think about what might happen if we bring a new machine into a facility, uh, it might have been made by a, a company that only uses a Mitsubishi PLC. That would normally be an orphan machine out to the side, might have a HMI on it. But by using the ignition driver, we can now, so previously we would have had a few complexities in connecting all of these devices. You know, we might have to deal with IT, you know, printing barriers to installing new software, or we've got to buy new modules, which all comes off our budget. Not exactly desirable. The elegant solution is to use the new Mitsubishi driver and be able to bring those uh, Mitsubishi PLCs and the machines with them onto the network directly. Now, why would we do that? Well, we're going to move from this kind of environment where we've got a, a machine that has some, uh, in this case, some pretty simple code and a and a very ordinary looking HMI that you might be familiar with. We've got the ability to be able to bring that into Ignition now and look at it with a whole new light. So we're able to create dashboards and use all those great functions with Ignition that we're used to and provide access to that information right across the enterprise. So another another interesting use case here might be connecting a, a legacy system as part of a digital transformation initiative. So in this case, uh, we're going to try and connect our Mitsubishi PLC. It's a legacy PLC that we've got the factory floor level, as you can see at the bottom there. And we're going to try and connect that into our ignition based enterprise system that's not just handling the SCADA layer, but also acting as the glue, I guess, that pulls all of the data together exactly to Kevin's point earlier 
uh, connecting the shop floor to the top floor and back again. So in this one, as you can see, we've got our system queue. We might know it out there in a panel somewhere, and you can see we've got some full racks there. So we've got a couple of challenges there. The idea behind that is that uh, if we had a spare rack there, we could plug our Mitsubishi Ethernet module in. Uh, so Mitsubishi still make these modules pretty easy just to buy one, plug it in, connect and configure and you're connected really quite quickly. So the architecture of that looks, you know, really quite simple. It's a really elegant solution to be able to connecting these systems to your network. And of course, the Mitsubishi driver from Inductive is able to connect to all of these different devices. So uh, keeps things nice and simple and all in the one package. So we've got another example here of some of the data we might be able to collect from that legacy system on the on the factory floor. I did neglect to mention there that the other way that you can go about doing that is to uh, just upgrade the CPU to the later version of the Mitsubishi CPUs that do have Ethernet. And that's usually a really easy process as well because the programs in Mitsubishi are always pretty known for their backward compatibility and we can uh, make that migration really quite easily. 